X on the call. It's Anissa Lamaro. Welcome to Mind Up Boat. Come on in. Hi, I'm Anissa Lamara, and I'm the founder of the Creative Peach Studios. It is a boutique interior design studio that specializes in residential and commercial home styling and interior design and renovation. The first thing that I knew that I wanted to have was this olive green sofa by Albany Park. They're a black owned home brand. And I knew that I wanted olive green. Olive green kept coming into my head. From there, I designed around it. So you'll see a lot of greens because I love plants. There's a lot of ivories and just a lot of natural tones. I went to Pinterest and I saw a lot of people just put either built-ins bookshelf with the cabinet at the bottom or the built-ins only. And I went to and this really, really friendly man helped me find the right wood stain to put it. And it's actually a wood stain that looks like paint. So you just paint it just like you would paint, but you can still see the wood grain in there. And it matched perfectly with my flooring. I did not do that on purpose, but it was meant to be, it was like fake. I always wanted like an all white kitchen for forever. But then when I got the all white kitchen, I'm like, it's cute but she's not giving everything that she should give. So to add some contrast, I first did some board and batten for the kitchen island to give it some texture. It just really tied everything together. The design style of the space as organic modern meets mid-century modern with a dash of boho in there. So it was very important for me to kind of like ground this space and kind of tie it together. And then the decor, I shopped all over for my art, but the art piece that I'm most proud about is this beautiful piece that I purchased at an art show. I met the artist, she was a black woman. She was doing some travels over in Africa, even though I don't know this man, but I know that he was in the motherland and I know that it felt right in the space. And so I've been carrying it from my last town home and now my home and I am obsessed with it still. The process for the gallery wall was really tricky because gallery walls are kind of like Tetris puzzles. And so I just started collecting a bunch of art. So it's still a work in progress, but it looks amazing. I'm very, very happy with it. So now we are upstairs and the star of the show by far, aside from the gallery wall, is my accent wall. We decided to go with the board and batten design concept because I just thought it was very classic. And once we finished it, I wanted to give it a little bit of pizzazz. So I added these beautiful brass lantern sconces, really good DIY option if you don't wanna do the whole electrical route, which I did not want to do. The concept for the office really started with this wallpaper that I saw. It's Levette's wallpaper. It was almost like it was meant for me because it has all of my brand colors except maybe one. And so I was like, this is going to go in my office. Being a designer, I want to make my space speak for me. It's a living, breathing portfolio of how I design, what I personally like, and that way my clients can also get a feel of my point of view as a designer and what they can expect from me to incorporate into their space, but also from their point of view as well. So for my bedroom, I really focused on the bed first and I wanted to tie it into the downstairs area. So the really funky abstract wallpaper that I put in the dining room, I wanted to make that an accent wall in this little nook that I have in my bedroom. I have two favorite elements in my space. The first element is the accent chair. You can really have a nap in there as well. So sometimes if I don't wanna feel like being in my bed, I sometimes will nap in this space. I was looking for a 12 drawer dresser and apparently they do not exist. So I decided to make one. I wanted four drawers in the chest and I want it to be tall, but not too tall where it can't be considered an actual dresser. So I found them in Ikea, I bought three of them, put them together and had my handyman add knobs and that was it. One of the biggest pieces of advice that I would give is you can experiment, you can do really whatever you want to because it's your home. So that's kind of how I approached my space. Space, I was really able to kind of lean in some more creativity and just kind of deciding what options work best. And I thought that kind of making what doesn't exist 
works best for me. Thank you, Exxon Nicole, for allowing me to share my home with you. It has been a true labor of love, and I'm so excited to see where it goes from here. If you'd like to learn more about me and the Creative Peach Studios, please follow me at all my social at Anissa Lamara and at my website at thecreativepeachstudios.com. Thank you so much. Bye.